Hi everyone, welcome to a Kundalini yoga class. My name is Stephanie Chance and welcome to my home studio today. So today's practice is going to be for the sixth chakra and finding balance here, connecting to our intuition and finding comfort uh, no matter our external reality. So really gaining that knowledge of going within, finding peace within, peace within. So we're going to go ahead and get started with just settling down. Maybe uh, uh, if you have a blanket or a bolster, go ahead and just prop your hips up on that bolster. Make your low back a little heavier. And come seated in your easy seat. Just bring your hands to your knees for now. And really root down through your sit bones. Elongate through your spine. Slight chin tuck here as you reach the crown of the head up to the sky. Lower your eye gaze down to the mat or just close your eyes. And take a minute to connect with the breath. So allow the shoulders to relax. Allow the collarbones to open. Check in with your inhales and exhales. Just noticing the quality without making judgment or without trying to change the breath. And checking in with the quality of the mind. Just noticing, observing thoughts as they come in and just allowing them to pass on by. And take a moment here to move into a three-part breath. So you can even bring your right hand to your belly, left hand up to your heart center. We're going to breathe in through the belly, allowing it to expand in all directions. Then up into the rib cage. Lastly, collarbones. Exhale here from your collarbones, rib cage, low belly in and up against your spine. And just repeat that at your own pace. So breathing in belly, rib cage, collarbones. Exhaling all the way down from the top, collarbones, rib cage, low belly in and up. And just stay with that three part breath. Allow your ribs to really expand in all directions. So really make this a rib workout. Get the lungs moving, get the breath moving all the way up. Two more rounds here. We call this a long, deep breath. And then bring your palms together right at your heart center here. We're going to rub, 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 activating all of the 72,000 nerve endings in the palm. Connecting as much of the palms as you can here. And then lift your heart up to meet your thumbs. Bringing the hands down, growing tall through the spine. We're going to take three long, deep breaths. And then we're going to inhale to begin tuning in with the Adi Mantra. Om, O-N-G, Namo, Gurudev, Namo. So take a deep inhale and then we'll begin. Om, Namo. Oh. 
Suspend the breath at the top, gaze in and up at your third eye point. Suspend even more, maybe taking another sip in. Long, deep exhale. Go ahead and bring the hands down to the shins. So let's just begin with a few warm ups here. So let's do a nice spinal flex. So we're going to inhale, expand the belly. Bring the chest forward, exhale, round the spine back. Your chin's just kind of resting here like it's on a shelf and you're flexing the spine. Inhaling forward, exhaling to round. You can bring in a mantra if this helps you to tune into the breath. So inhaling sat, exhaling nam. So sat, the truth is in the name, nam. Truth is my identity, or I am my truth. You can close your eyes here, gaze in and up at the third eye point. So right at the center of the brow and up half an inch. So gaze here with your inner eye gaze. As you breathe in, really expand the belly in all directions. As you exhale, bring the navel in and up against the spine. And move at your own pace here. So if your spine's beginning to warm up, you can increase the pace and really keep it going. Inhaling forward, exhaling around. You're really warming up the spine and you're moving the kundalini energy up from the base of the spine, up and out through the crown of the head. So you're really trying to get that energy flowing up and down the spine. So really move, really expand. And inhale forward, suspend the breath. Exhale, release the hands, relax, bring the hands to the knees. And we're going to keep the elbows straight. So we're going to focus this energy now on the upper back right between the shoulder blades. As we inhale forward, exhale round. So notice it feels like the spine is flexing a little differently now. Still moving with your breath. Inhaling sat, exhaling nam. Feel free to breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth here, or breathe through the nose. Really expand the belly, expand the lungs. Go at your own pace. Strong breath. Yeah, so make sure you can hear it. Let's keep going. Let's go for 30 more seconds. I'm going to put my watch down here where I can track our time. And inhale, lift the heart center, suspend the breath. Exhale long and deep, relax it down. Good. Let's keep going with that spinal flex. Let's move it into a cat cow. So spread the fingers nice and wide, spread the hands, thumbs reaching towards one another. Start at a neutral spine and then inhale, drop the belly, lift the heart, lift the tailbones. Exhale, round it out, angry cat. cat. So move. Again, move with your breath, move at your own pace. But really maybe begin to build some body heat. So make sure your elbows aren't hyperextending. Keep moving, keep flexing. And 
and maybe pick up the pace now. Really get that energy flowing, keep moving, keep breathing, expand the belly, expand the diaphragm. Inhale, drop the belly, open the collarbones, reach the sit bones up to where the wall meets the ceiling. Exhale, round it out, look towards your belly button. Inhale, back through new, neutral, wiggle it out a little bit. And then let's bring the legs out in front. So, maybe spread your ankles out a little bit, hip width apart. We're going to inhale, send the arms up. Exhale, reach for your toes, just grabbing a hold, making a connection wherever you can. If you can reach the toes comfortably, squeeze the big toes, give a little squeeze. We're going to inhale to come up to a flat spine, exhale round. Inhaling, lift, exhaling round. So Sat Nam, going with that inner mantra. The belly expands to lift you into that flat spine, <laughs> navel in and up to the round. Again, moving with your own pace, honoring your own body here. But within those parameters, trying to really move the energy. So keep it moving, keep it going. We're going to go for 30 more seconds. Last little bit, keep it going, good work. Inhale to lift, open the collarbones, extend from sit bones out through crown of the head. Exhale, fold, shake it out. And walk the hands back in, nice job. All right, let's go ahead and move into our Kriya, the Ajna stimulation. So our Kriya is just a series of exercises that we're going to follow, often incorporating breath. But the first one, we're going to come standing. So hands are at your side, fists with thumbs in. So thumbs in, fists. Spread your feet nice and wide. Arms are reaching down towards your toes. We're going to bring our spine into neutral. So tuck the chin slightly. Reach the crown of the head up to the ceiling, and then we're going to slowly, keeping length in the neck, look up towards the ceiling. Nice stretch through the front of the neck here. Breathe long and deep. Inhale, Sat. Exhale, Nam. I'm going to get my little timer here. Breathe as deeply and slowly as you can. So the neck is keeping long, so don't let the neck just dump. Keep reaching up and back. Keep reaching the hands towards the floor. We're going to go for at least one more minute here. So focus at the third eye point. Reach down, root down through the heels, weight in the heels. Uh, 
And again, lengthen the neck. Are you breathing? Are you using the mantra? Inhaling Sat, exhaling Nam. Last 30 seconds. Reach the head, reach it tall, up and back. And inhale, long deep breath in. Suspend the breath here. Long deep exhale, lift the crown of the head up to the ceiling. Relax the shoulders. Do some shrugs forward and back. Good job. All right, we're gonna come, we're gonna come back down to our mats. So I'm gonna remove my blanket here. We're gonna come into a down dog. So for this downward dog, we're gonna hold it for two to three minutes. So honor your body. Make sure this movement is feeling good to you. Warm it up here. All right. So take your feet, hands nice and wide. Make sure your fingers are spread wide. Thumbs are reaching towards one another again. We're gonna curl the toes under here. We've hopefully warmed up the spine, prepped it for this a little bit. Curling the toes under, go ahead and come to your downward facing dog. Walk the hand, the feet in so that they're a comfortable distance apart where you can really bring the shoulder blades down the back here. Make sure your spine is in one long line. It should be neutral. You're looking to get your sit bones up and back you're trying to just let your head hang down between your arms, breathing long and deep. So keep reaching the sit bones up. If you need to walk it out a little bit, walk it out. Bend the knees to get the sit bones and the spine straight. Do what you need to do here in your down dog. Do your best. If you need to lower down the hands and knees, just join us back here at down dog when you can. We've got one more minute to go. Keep breathing. Do your best here. Let your body shake if it needs to shake. You're doing awesome. Keep it up. Maybe closing your eyes, focus at the third eye point. Try to keep reaching your weight back over your heels. In Kundalini Yoga, we call this triangle pose, triangle. So last few seconds, keep it going. And take a deep inhale, long deep exhale as you lower down to hands and knees, come to an easy seat. Nice job, how'd it feel? Take a moment and just check in. Come back to your breath, breathing long and deep. Next, we're gonna move into bow pose. 
So again, honoring your body, coming onto your belly. For this one, we are going to add um, the long deep breaths again. We're going to stay here for one minute. So honoring your body. So for bow, we are going to reach to grab the ankles. If you need to do one leg at a time, feel free to just do one leg and switch out when you can. Or reach towards the heels if you can't reach. So grabbing first one and then the other. I'm going to push my feet away as I lift up. I'm going to keep looking out just past the edge of my mat here. And just breathe long and deep. Here we go. One minute. Long deep breaths, navel to spine, pubic bone is pushing down into the mat. Keep breathing, keep doing your best. Thirty more seconds. Keep pushing those feet away. In towards the hands. Last fifteen seconds. And take a deep inhale. Long, deep exhale, and relax it down. You can shake the legs side to side. Good work. And then let's roll over onto our backs. So taking your time. For this one, we are going to do breath of fire. So breath of fire is breathing through your nose and really pumping the diaphragm. So you focus on the exhales and just let the inhales come. And you're pumping the diaphragm, really getting it moving. So it's a strong, powerful breath. It's kind of like a dog pant. So you can do that to dry it. And then it's through your nose, if you can. It is allergy season. So just doing our best here. So here, if you have a block, you can rest your feet on a block. Or your bolster, you can do one foot at a time like this. If you need to, honor your body. We are going to go here for one minute. So the ideal pose, this is stretch pose. Your head is lifted and you're looking out between your toes. And your toes are lifted. So head six inches, feet six inches off the mat. You can bring your hands into a diamond shape and put them right under your sacrum. If that helps out, again, or use the props for the feet. Help yourself out. But strong breath of fire. Here we go. That's okay, rest your head, bring it back up if you can. Push that low back down into the mat, keep breathing, we're halfway there. Job. Shake the head side to side. Relax the jaw a minute. Shake the feet out. Nice work. 
So you're gonna find your way back up into a seated posture. We're gonna come sitting on our heels. We're gonna move back into a spinal flex. So our hands are up on our thighs. Nice straight spine here. Try to really reach your heels up to the ceiling and not let them flare out to the side like that, but bring them up. So make them as wide as you need to. Ideally, they're right on the sit bones. And we're gonna begin spinal flex here. Let's see, and we're just gonna do a long, deep, or we're gonna breathe as we flex. So it's inhaling forward, rounding, exhaling, to round, sorry, inhaling, lift the collarbones, exhale, round. So again, your head is kind of on a shelf. We are moving here for one minute. Gaze in and up at your third eye point. Inhaling, soft, exhaling, numb. Great job, keep going, warm the spine up. 30 seconds. Really work on getting that lumbar spine moving. That's your lower back. Last 15 seconds. Strong breath, inhale, expand the belly. So spend that breath here. Exhale, long and deep. Take a moment to just sit. Notice how you're feeling. Check in with the breath. Just a few more postures here. For the, next, for the next one, we're gonna come down into child's pose. Take your knees nice and wide, as wide as your yoga mat. If you need a blanket under your belly or a prop, or if your hips need to be up higher, that's all okay. Try to bring your head down to something. So if your head doesn't meet the mat, bring it down to a blanket or a block. Find connection here at your third eye point with something. And we're gonna bring the hands back and grab the heels. So the forehead's on the mat. Long, deep breath. Relax here, breathing normally. We're gonna stay here for five minutes. So just breathe. Find some time to relax. Go within. You can use the mantra sa on the inhale, nam on the exhale. Allow the belly to expand and relax. As you relax here in this child's pose, stimulating your sixth chakra. Think about some of the sixth chakra basics. When it's balanced, again, we're comfortable in any reality. We see the energy within and beyond matter and form. We perceive we see, seeing with our inner knowledge, our inner wisdom, still relaxing here.
Keep tuning in. Tune into your own inner wisdom. Just observing. Observing your thoughts without judgment. Just allowing them to pass. Observe the body. What messages does it have to tell you right now? Three more minutes. Last little bit here. Keep inhaling, Sat. Exhaling, Nam. Go into your deep inner wisdom. Last 30 seconds, last little bit here, dive within, go within the breath, observe the mind. Take a deep inhale and a long, deep exhale. Bring your hands under your shoulders, push back up. And we're gonna come lying now on our bellies, on our sides. Either way, I'm gonna be on my side so you can see me here. We're gonna go here for, um, let's see, three minutes. Are you ready for this? We're gonna be bundle rolling. So the hands are in at your sides. Point your toes, long straight spine. We're gonna roll and roll. So here we go, join me. Rolling all the way onto your back. 
So you may have to clear the space, so I'm going to have to clear a little bit. Roll onto your back and then belly. I'm running into everything, are you? <laughs> Have fun with it here. Just roll. We're going to be childlike, right? <laughs> and keep rolling. Keep going forward, how about y'all? Keep breathing, keep moving. We're halfway there. My floor is really hard. I hope y'all have a softer floor. And keep going here. <laughs> We've got 30 more seconds. Are you still breathing? Are you still moving? And take a deep inhale, long deep exhale, push yourself back up. We're going to find an easy seat. And my hair is flopping everywhere now, how about yours? All right. So I'm going to find my cushion again so that I can come up with a long straight spine. So take a moment and just close your eyes. Gaze in and up the third eye point. Observe the thoughts, observe the mind, and just go within. We're going to move into Dhyan Mudra. So the first finger and the thumb come together, and the last three fingers stick together down on our knees. Tuck your chin slightly. We're going to chant here. Sat Nam. So this is a call to balance your energy. Sat Nam. Sat Nam. Chin is locked. Sat Nam. Sat Nam. Chant from your heart. Sat Nam. Begin visualizing the sound spiraling up from the base of the spine out to the front of the head. Here we go. Sat Nam. 
Suspend the breath, gaze in and up at the third eye point. Exhale fully, completely. Shake it out. Nice. Now we're going to just come into a nice, deep relaxation. You're going to come down on your back in Shavasana. I'm going to play the gong for you for a few moments here in Shavasana, probably five to seven minutes. So just relax down, grab a blanket, lower the lights, whatever you need to do. Allow the feet to relax out to the sides. And start with your relaxation. Relax through the eyes, relax the sinuses, relaxing the lower jaw, the throat, relax through the neck and shoulders. I'm going to situate myself here near the gong. Keep relaxing. Open your heart center. Relax through the chest and abdomen. Low belly, pelvis. Your quads, your shins, your toes. Shake it out, relax it out. Just join me here in a gong meditation. Completely relax. Envision a wave. You're riding this wave. 
finding further and further relaxation as you go. So one more deep breath here to fully relax into your Shavasana. Begin to bring your awareness back into your physical body, deepening your breath. And wiggle fingers, wiggle toes. And reach your arms overhead, point your toes, find a full body stretch. Bring your right knee into your chest to give a little squeeze. 
We're going to use our left hand, bring it across the body here, find a spinal twist. You can look out towards your right hand if that's comfortable with your neck. One more deep inhale and a long deep exhale. Cat stretch. Bring that leg back in, untwist. Lay it back down. We're going to bring the left knee into the chest. Give it a little squeeze. Grab it with your right hand. Sweep it across the body for a spinal twist. The left hand comes out to the side. You can look towards that left hand or towards the ceiling. Take a long, deep inhale. Long, deep exhale. And then we're going to untwist. Bring your knees both into your chest. Give a little hug. So from here to come back to seated, you can roll onto your side or you can tuck your forehead up into your knees. Keep that chin tucked here. Give a little squeeze. We're going to rock forward and back. Massage the back and then come back up into an easy seat. Take a moment here to come back to your breath. I'm going to grab my bolster. You can come back sitting on your prop. And let's just revisit that Gyan Mudra for a moment in the hands. Nice tall spine. Tuck the chin. Lower your eye gaze or close your eyes. Take your inner eye gaze back up to the third eye point, the Ajna Chakra. Observe the mind, observe the body. Just notice what there is to notice, observing your thoughts. Accessing your deep inner wisdom just by observing that you are not your thoughts. And bring the hands up and overhead, reach them tall, drop the shoulders down, wiggle the fingers. We're going to bring the hands back into prayer, mudra at the heart center. Take a deep inhale, deep exhale. Stay with your breath here. I'm just going to close with the long time sun, and I'm not going to chant it or sing it. I'm just going to say this prayer for you here. May the long time sun shine upon you, all love surround you, and the pure light within you gone guide your way on. So take a deep inhale and then join me in a long sat, a short nod. Sad Nam Go within. Tune into your own strength, your own inner wisdom here. Thank you for joining me today for this nice kundalini practice. Sat Nam. Stay well, everyone.